Hello everyone, welcome back to Chemical Engineering and Spend Channel. In our today's video, we will again focus on the subject of chemical reaction engineering. And in our today's video, which is our lecture number 51, we will focus again on chapter number 11, which is non-isothermal reactor design. And we will do the two calculations today. Number one is the equilibrium calculations. We will calculate the adiabatic equilibrium temperature. And we will see the procedure or we will overview the procedure that how we can calculate it and finally we will do a reactor design and that reactor will obviously be the non-isothermal reactor. These are the pillars of CRE as have been explained multiple times previously mole balance, weight loss, stoichiometry, isothermal design and heat effects and we will apply these concepts today as well. So going to the problem statement which is the calculation of adiabatic equilibrium temperature one of the part is that for the elementary liquid phase reaction is a reversible reaction obviously that one mole of A produces one mole of P and it is reversible in its nature. You have to make a plot of equilibrium conversion as a function of temperature. Now there are three steps which you need to do today. Number one is that to combine the rate law and stoichiometric table to write minus RA as a function of K, C, A, X and X of E. As per our previous practice, we have already established this part but X E is a new part here. Earlier our equation was minus R is equal to KCA or KCA naught into 1 minus X. So KCA naught and X would have been incorporated previously. But today we will learn how we can incorporate X of E. The second part is to determine the adiabatic equilibrium temperature and conversion when pure A is fed to the reactor at the temperature of 300 Kelvin. This is our second part and important part for today that we have to calculate the adiabatic equilibrium tem temperature and according to the conversion. And what would be the CSTR volume which is required to achieve 90% of the adiabatic equilibrium conversion. So in part B we will calculate the equilibrium conversion then we will take the 90% of it and then we will accordingly calculate the CSTR volume while we are given the volumetric flow rate as 5 cubic decimeter per minute. The additional information which is given to us is that the heat of reaction for species A at 298 Kelvin is minus 40,000 calories per mole. For B is minus 60,000 calories per mole. The CP of the species A is 50 calories per mole per Kelvin and the same is for species B. The equilibrium constant at 298 Kelvin is 1 lakh. The expression for the rate constant is given here and the activation energy is 10,000 calories per mole. So we will first start our part A which is to combine the rate law and stoichiometric table to write minus RA as a function of K, C A naught, X and X of E. So the first step is to write the rate law for this elementary reversible liquid phase reaction and that is minus RA is equal to K C of A minus C of B divided by K of E. This K of A is the equilibrium constant. These are the species and according to their concentrations, this is the rate constant. At equilibrium minus RA is equal to zero. So accordingly, we can write the expression of K of E as C B E divided by C A E. This is the concentration of B at equilibrium divided by the concentration of A at equilibrium. Both have raised to power 1 because these are the same as that of the psychometric coefficient. And accordingly, it's a reversible and elementary system. For psychometry, V is equal to V naught liquid phase reaction. We can write C of A is equal to C A naught into 1 minus X. And C of B is equal to C A naught into X. So accordingly, we will put the values of C of A and C of B in this equation and we can get minus R A is equal to K C A naught 1 minus X minus X over K of A. Obviously, C A naught is taken out of the equation. So, accordingly, this equation is transformed like that. And if we arrange it, so we can get K of E is equal to C A naught X of E divided by C A naught into 1 minus X of E. Or that is equal to x of e over 1 minus x of e. So k of e, substituting the value of k of e over here, this part, in this equation, we can get the equation as minus r is equal to k c a naught 1 minus x over x of e. So this is how we can get the rate equation in terms of k c a naught x and x of e. Previously, we had stopped here or maybe some modifications, but now we have substituted the value of K of E and we have calculated the value of K of E. We have put the CB expression here, which is C A naught X of E, and C expression here, which is C A naught 1 minus X of E, and then rearrange 
and accordingly putting the value of k of e and accordingly we get minus r is equal to kc naught 1 minus x over x or if we want to represent this equation which is 11 dash 4.6 in terms of x of e we can write it as x of e is equal to k of e divided by 1 plus k of e so this is our first part of today's activity going to the second part which is the calculation of adiabatic equilibrium temperature we need to first calculate the value of delta Cp. Now, the delta Cp will obviously be the Cp of the product minus Cp of the reactant. However, in additional information, if you have seen that both values were 50. So, accordingly, the answer will be 0 calories per mole per Kelvin. For delta Cp is equal to 0, the equilibrium constant varies with temperature according to the relation. This is the correlation which we have studied multiple times that K of E at temperature T is equal to k of e at temperature t1 now if you remember our example that we are given the k of e at 298 kelvin while the system temperature is 300 kelvin so there is a difference of 2 kelvin in the, in the system k of e at t1 exponential delta h rx divided by r1 over t1 minus 1 over t now the delta h of rx is equal to the heat of reaction for species b minus heat of reaction for species a and accordingly this was minus 60,000 this was 40 so minus 40,000. So, accordingly, you get the answer of minus 20,000 calories per mole. Substituting the value of delta H, Rx in this equation and R which is 1.987 and T1 which is 298, we can get the expression K of E is equal to 1 lakh into exponential minus 23.78 T minus 298 divided by T. So this is the K of E expression which we have derived from the equilibrium constant expression. Now, if you use the thermodynamic equation, Thermodynamically, if you want to calculate it, the expression is x of e is equal to 1 lakh into exponential minus 33.78 t minus 298 divided by t divided by 1 plus 1 lakh into exponential minus 33.78 t minus 298 divided by t. Now, you would be wondering how this expression has came. If you see, this is k of e in equation 4.10 and this x of e is equal to k of e over 1 plus k of e. So, I have simply put the equation or expression in this equation and got the value. Now, if you vary the temperature, you can get the value of x of e at each point. Similarly, you can get the value of k of e at each point and similarly in the problem statement, you can get the value of k at each point if you put the value of t and accordingly you can see that as the temperature is increasing, the value of k of e is decreasing, the value of x of e is decreasing, the rate constant is increasing. Now, if you recall your previous concepts that with the increase in temperature, the K of E decreases for which system, if you either exothermic or endothermic. So, obviously, you would have guessed it right, it would be exothermic system. So, for exothermic system with the increase in temperature, the equilibrium conversion will decrease, the concentration equilibrium constant will decrease. So, this depicts that it is an exothermic reaction. Now, going to the energy balance, because we want to know what is the equilibrium conversion now here. So, we need to apply the energy balance. So, for a reaction which is need to be carried out adiabatically, the energy balance equation reduces to, the, this is the energy balance main equation, x e b summation theta is e p a t minus t naught divided by minus delta h r x to c p of a t minus t naught divided by minus delta h r x. Now, that c p of a is 50, we know that delta h rx is 20,000. Remember, delta h rx was minus 20,000, but once it is minus delta h rx, it will be plus 20,000. And T naught is 300. So, according to this expression goes as 2.5 into 10 to the power minus 3 T minus 300. And if we substitute value of T at 300, 400, 500 and 600, we we'll get the value of x of E b. This x of E is coming from the energy balance. Well, the previous one were coming from the theoretical equations. So, we get 0, 0 0.25, 0 0.5 and 0 0.75. Now, how we can calculate it? The procedure to calculate the equilibrium conversion is that if you look at this graph first, there is a correlation or uh, there is a graph between temperature and x, t at y x, t at x axis and x at y axis. Now, this is the equilibrium conversion equation as we have seen here. From energy balance, we get the adiabatic temperature over here. So, what you need to do if you are still confused, let's come to the original case. 
that you have plotted temperature at x axis x at y axis this is the x line or these are the x e points if i show you again these are those points which i am talking about starting from 1 and ending at point 1 1 so starting from 1 and ending at somewhere point 1 1 and this is the x e b line which is this one 0 0.25 point 5 and point 0.75 and the intersection point this point the point at which these two lines intersect corresponds to the equilibrium temperature and equilibrium convergence so this if you corresponds it it corresponds to x e is equal to 0 0.42 and the corresponding temperature is 465 kelvin so the conversion the equilibrium conversion which was the main point here is 0 0.42 and the equilibrium temperature or the corresponding temperature at which the equilibrium will be achieved is 465 Kelvin. So for the non-isothermal system, this is the overall procedure that how to calculate the equilibrium temperature and equilibrium conversions. Our last part is to calculate the CSTR volume and we have to calculate the CSTR volume at 90% of the conversion. First, we will write the expression V is equal to F A naught X over minus R A. This F A naught is C A naught into V naught into x divided by kc a naught 1 minus x over xc we have substituted the expression of minus ra and f a naught this c a naught cancel out with this c a naught accordingly this equation reduces to v naught x over k into 1 minus x over x of e so we are given the expression of k in the statement and we have just substituted the value accordingly so we get the expression as 0 0.01 exponential 16.89 t minus 298 divided by t at 90% of the equilibrium conversion we have to calculate uh, or we have to take the conversion to calculate CSTR volume. So 0 0.9 times of X of E which is 0 0.9 times of 0 0.42 and that comes out to be 0 0.38. And we get minus and we have this expression obviously minus R is equal to KC A naught 1 minus X over XC. This was the same as we have calculated before. Now from adiabatic energy balance the temperature which is corresponds to 0 0.38 the energy balance that T is equal to T naught plus minus delta H Rx divided by Cp of A into X. T naught is 300 minus delta H Rx is 20,000. Cp of A is 50 and conversion is 0.38. So according to the corresponding temperature is 452 Kelvin. This is the temperature at which we will get the 38% conversion of A to B. Now we know the temperature corresponding. Now at temperature T is equal to 452 Kelvin x of e which is equilibrium conversion is equal to 0.5 k is equal to 0.322 per minute accordingly we substitute the value in this main equation v is equal to v naught x over k into 1 minus 0.38 over 0.5 so correspondingly the volume is 24.5 cubic decimeter so this is the amount of volume or this is the cstr volume which is required to get the required conversion or 90 percent of the equilibrium conversion which is 0.38 so this is the overall calculations of how to correlate minus ra as a function of k c a naught x and x of e how to calculate the equilibrium conversion and equilibrium temperature and how to calculate the cstr volume so i hope you have understood all the aspects of this lecture if you have any queries feedback suggestion please provide it in the comment box and I would be happy to answer it. So that's it from today's lecture. Thank you so much. Please do watch, like, share the video and subscribe to the channel. Also click on the bell icon to get all aspects related to this channel. Till then, it's goodbye. Stay tuned for more exciting videos on this channel.